Hello, I'm Steve Larson, engineer with CAT Pumps. And today we're going to do another whiteboard session. And the subject for today is the easy start valve. And some people call them the quick start. We're going to try to stay with easy start valve for this presentation. And we're going to talk about what it does and why it's used. Uh, the easy start valve is a small valve that's primarily used on gas driven pressure washers. And the function for it is to relieve some small amount of water back to bypass while you're starting an engine. Hence the name Easy Start. It's to help start the engine for a gas pressure washer. So to begin with, we're going to draw a typical gas engine system. We're going to start here with with the pump and we're just going to put a little E off here to represent that it's engine driven. And typically a pressure washer application comes in with a garden hose supply either hooked to your house or to a city water supply and that's what feeds the pump. Then the discharge of the water comes out and a lot of times there's a pressure gauge on here. We'll indicate it like that. Then the discharge comes out to a pressure regulating type device. Usually on a pressure washer, it's an unloader valve. And from there, it comes out to a trigger gun with a spray nozzle. And that's how a gas driven pressure washer is plumbed. But I got one more thing to add is the bypass line. The bypass usually comes back and goes back to the inlet, just like that. So therefore, when the pump is running, it's always got to put water somewhere. It's either out the nozzle or bypass back to inlet. So this is how a typical gas engine pressure washer looks without an easy valve. And so when we go to start a pressure washer, it's recommended that it gets fully primed of water, all the air taken out, so the instructions will say to attach the garden hose, turn on the water supply, open the trigger gun until all the air is discharged from the system. And the reason you want to get all the air out is so that the pump is not dry, because if you start it up with dry seals and no water in it, it could burn the seals up. So we want to get it fully primed with water. Now we're ready to operate our pressure washer. So we reach down, we turn the engine on, and we go to pull the rope, and as soon as I start to pull the rope, the mechanics of what's going on is the engine starts to turn, which is direct coupled to the pump, so the pump starts to turn. As soon as the pump starts to turn, it starts to push water out into the discharge. So as soon, even on the very first pull of that engine, I start to push water out here. Since the unloader hasn't been activated into bypass yet, this pressure will start to rise even on the first pull of the engine. So if that engine doesn't start on the first pull, after one pull, this gauge is going to come up a little bit and then a little bit with the next pull. And pretty soon, we haven't started the engine yet, and now I can't pull the rope anymore because there's too much pressure locked up in here. It's hard to start. So then you got to go back, open the trigger gun, relieve all the pressure down again, and then go back and try to start it again on the next pull. So to remedy this dilemma, somebody invented an easy start valve. And what it is, it's a small device that gets added into the discharge line. And for ease in plumbing, I'm going to draw it as a little square now. And then a line goes back to the inlet as well. So if we take this valve, all we do, add that in, and I'm going to draw it a little bit larger here so we can see the cross section and get to the mechanics of it, what's really going on. It's got an inlet port that comes in like this. Of course, this is the cross section of the body. And then there's a ball in here. And that ball has a spring pushing it up towards this port. Then there's a secondary seat in here located in here. And finally, this port that comes back and goes back to your inlet. So what happens is I start to pull on that rope again. 
I get a small amount of pressure starting to rise because there's some flow generated. Now what happens is that pressure pushes this ball off of this first corner and now there's a space for water to flow around here. and head back to the inlet at low pressure. And so if I pull start that engine once, it doesn't start. This has allowed that small volume of water to get back to the inlet so I can pull it again. And with each subsequent pull, it'll burp a little bit of that water back to the inlet. Now, once that engine fires off, the musical sound of an internal combustion engine, it's a, and then now the pump is putting out a lot of flow because it's running up to speed. And what happens then, this ball gets forced all the way down to this second seat. Now, it has shut off any flow going back to the inlet, and it will stay like that during your whole pressure washing job that you're doing. And so the valve only functions when you're starting, and it allows any subsequent pull of the engine so that you can get the machine started up without uh, a lot of torque load on it from pressure locked up. That's the function of an easy start valve. Now, can there be problems with them? Yes. One of the problems that can occur, if you have just brought it out in the spring and it doesn't seem to function, I can't build pressure. My engine runs, but I can't build pressure. Sometimes what happens is that ball is in here and for some reason a little corrosion, a little dirt, a little something has gotten in here and is plugging and preventing that ball from shifting all the way to the second seat. So then what happens, there's a continuous path back to inlet and you can't build pressure. The way to fix that is simply identify that your pressure washer has a quick start valve or easy start valve and just simply take it apart and clean it out and then it should be good to go again. And that's the function of an easy start valve.